Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at how to install LaTeX on our Linux devices or our Linux machines. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So in order to set up Linux, uh, LaTeX on your Linux device, you would first need proper internet connection and then you have to know your way around or you need an access to a terminal with sudo access. So basically that's what we need. So to launch your terminal, you, you press Control Alt T to launch your terminal or you can go to the show applications and then look for terminal. So you can search terminal and then you see your terminal up here and then you launch it. So basically that's that. So once you're in your terminal, all you have to do is first get the LaTeX distribution, right? So in the previous video, we said the LaTeX distribution for Linux is tech life. So in order to do that, we have several ways of doing that. You could do sudo apt first, first things first, you have to first update. So sudo apt update to see whether there are some packages that need to be updated, right? So after running the update, you realize that I said all packages are up to date here. So we have, we are clear to go. So if you check yours and then you see some packages are supposed to be updated, then all you have to do is do sudo apt upgrade. And then you would get to upgrade or you'll be asked to press yes for upgrade. Okay. So after checking that, then the next thing you have to do in order to install the LaTeX distribution is just to run sudo apt install the Clive, right? This is one way of doing it, right? We have different flavors of tech life. So you could decide to install tech life, which will install the essential packages for you. And then you could also choose to install the full packages, so tech life full by adding the tech life full, this dash full to the tech life. Or you could also choose to do what? To install some uh, related ones, so like tech life for science, so science, and then tech life for publishers or anything. There are different flavors of tech life. But for now, in this video, we'll be using the tech life. So once you hit enter, you would see that tech life will be installed. Now bear in mind that this tech life is the one that has been shipped with your operating system. So depending on the Linux version, the Ubuntu version or the Debian version that you are using, you would have different ones shipped together. So for instance, the I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 and then the one has been shipped is 2019 there is a latest version but then it hasn't been shipped with ubuntu 2004 so keep that in mind if you want to keep updated you can go to their site and then follow up from there okay so now after installing tech life then so let's see you can open uh, our latex in our favorite text editor i use vim so you have vim then maybe it's hello.txt dot tech and then let's see something here so you can follow up and then type documents documents class and then for the document class command it's an article so you type article and then you create a begin document environment so begin documents environment and then once you begin you have to end right so end document environment so once you are inside the begin and the end document environment you can just type in a command so what i will do is large and then so you, the large command will practically type anything you put inside it very large so hello world 
I um, using LaTeX. So what I'm currently doing is just to look, tell you or show you how you can manually use LaTeX, right? So now that we are done creating this document, you can save using the colon X, right? So to save and then exit. And then if you check your current directory, you see that the file we have there, if you cut the file, you see that the whatever you type is in there. Okay. So now the next thing we do is to compile the tech file. So in order to compile the tech file, we use what we call the PDF LaTeX, right? So once you install the tech live, it installs the PDF LaTeX package for you. So you can just do PDF LaTeX hello.txt. Once you hit enter, it compiles the file for you. And then now if you clear and then you do the ls, you see that now it has other ones, but we are interested in the hello.pdf, right? Okay, so Ubuntu has an in, comes with a, a PDF reader called the events, right? So you can use the events to view the PDF that we just compiled or we just generated. Once you hit enter, you see that hello world. Sorry, my word is not correct. I'm using LaTeX. So basically, this is how we would have done it one after the other. But you see that the it's quite expensive typing this every time. So imagine you are typing a lot of documents or a multi-page document. You can't be moving back and forth from your terminal to the PDF reader. So we suggested that we would use a smart text editor, right? Called the Text Studio. So let's look at how to install Text Studio from here. Okay. So in order to install Text Studio, there are different ways of doing that, right? So the first is to just install sudo apt install Text Studio, right? But then the problem with doing this is that just like the Tech Life. The version of the text studio that is shipped with the out package manager is quite low, right? Which means that you won't catch up with the updates that text studio has released, right? So we'll go to their site and then look at how we can get the best out of it. So once you come to the text studio site, we do just search for text studio. Okay, so you open your favorite browser and then just search Google search text studio. You see a first link here, and this is the text studio official site. Okay, so now that we are here, we go straight to the download section, <clears throat> and then you realize that here they recommend to us to try and install using this our package managers. <clears throat> but then you realize that for some reason, these ones don't really work. So I don't know why, but at the time of recording of this video, these ones don't work. So the best bet is to do what? Is to add a PPA, right? So for Ubuntu, a PPA is available. So we'll click on this link and then go there and then add a PPA. So basically this would add a package manager repository, right? So a repository to our system whereby we could always, once we run sudo apt install tech studio, instead of going to the original one provided by Ubuntu, it will come to this one and look for the update. And then you realize that the Package here is 4.4.1-0, which means that it's currently up to date. So we are safe, right? Okay, so once you copy this file, <clears throat> you just open your terminal and then paste that into it. So Control shift v right? You paste this into your terminal, okay? And then once you hit enter, the next thing you do is do sudo apt update to make sure that the pp has been added and then it updates the 
all the PPAs. So here you see that we have uh, HTTP, this one, the standard me text to give. If for any reason it doesn't really work, you could also come here and then choose your version button. This should work. Okay. So let's go back. Okay. So now that we've added the repository, all we have to do is just run sudo apt install tech studio. Once you hit enter, you tech studio should be installed, right? So depending on how fast your internet connectivity is, you see that now it's taking the tech studio from the sander me, right? Okay. So depending on your internet connectivity, you would have to wait for a very for some time, right? But then you would install certain packages for you and you know make you use a smart tech editing software. So let's wait for some time and then all right, it's done. So don't worry, just be patient and uh, you would get yours done. So once it's done, right, there are two ways of launching it, right? You could choose to launch the software here. So you can come to your start and then look for Tech Studio and then click on it to launch it, right? Or you could also choose to, you know, launch it in your terminal by just typing the command Tech Studio, right? And then yeah so this is it right so text studio has been installed for us so and has been opened all right so let's test and see whether our text studio is communicating properly with the tech live so in order to try that we open you, can, you click on wizards here and then you do quick start right and then you can add a title maybe hello world or something right bear in mind you could also choose to just type the things we typed in the hello.txt file right it doesn't really matter so once we are here so you see what we typed was the document class right article and then we started begin document and end document don't worry about these preambles we would come back to them in subsequent videos okay so right now let's just focus on what is inside so we type large right and then in the large command we put hello world right i am using latex okay and then you click on this button or f5 to compile and run so you see that this one just a click of a button our PDF file has been generated here for us nicely. So we could edit and then view, edit and view. We don't have to be going back and forth from the terminal to a PDF reader, right? So now, interestingly, LaTeX has added their own command that will make the LaTeX nicer. So let's see LaTeX. Okay, so if you type the LaTeX like this, you see that this one is just normal. English text, right? But if you rerun this, you compile and build. You see that now it's nice, right? It's very nice. So, hello world, I'm using LaTeX. Wow. So, if you're able to get to this point, it means everything works for you. So, you are ready to continue in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this and then can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you.